Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm at Orange County Airport in New York. My Golf Juliet is the identifier. At my hangar, T3, 308 is my hangar. And I'm actually trying to get a hangar on that side, on T4, um, only because it's a lot level. This has a little incline going up. Um, there's a drainage ditch right here. So I'm trying to get the hangar at T4, hopefully, by the end of april but i do have one thing to go over we're gonna do a little tour of the airport at orange county here but i also picked up this pretty cool scooter from segway okay it is it's called the segway max g30 folding um scooter all electric as you guys can't see but it is electric um pretty cool 10 inch wheels it's pretty cool. It's going to fold up into the Mooney. Here's your uh, some charging ports here. It comes with an adapter. Everything is waterproof. Um, even the wires here, they put in this nice rubber, so it's wall waterproof. Pretty cool from Segway. Um, picked it up. Great tool. I'm going to test it out. And we're going to tour the airport. Of course, you guys know across the way there is Take Flight Aviation. We're going to cruise around the airport, um, but apparently this thing can go, uh, apparently this thing can go up to 18.5-ish miles per hour and last up to 40 miles. It, it's a pretty big battery pack. The most heaviest thing is the battery, but I got to tell you, the thing is put together really, really cool and strong. They did a good job with all the welds all around every piece of the scooter here so it, they, it's all metal they really made a nice design no shocks air tires uh, max is 50 psi and everything comes together pretty quick and of course you have the digital it's probably be flashing yeah it's flashing because of the gopro but um digital speedometer miles per hour eco mode it's on right now and the battery is full uh and it also comes with an app so the app can control you can disable it you can lock it you can change it to kilometers you can have leave the little light on in the back on constantly or flashing when you use the brakes um and it also when you when you actually let off the throttle it actually generates more power to the battery so it charges up for you as you're coasting so you can actually up that to where you let off the accelerator and it stops really hard by itself or kind of medium or kind of light so we're going to take it around the airport and see what it does why not so again it is from segway it's a max and let's see what it could do stick around so here's t3 that's my hangar right there with the flag of course and this is basically foxtrot we're on the taxiway fox foxtrot the good thing with my hangar is i have a lot of space and same thing if i go to t4 over here I have a lot of space um i can park the plane out front as you can see here the black space is here um and I'm really far from the taxiway so i can keep my plane kind of parked right out here kind of as long as i want without having any problems with the, with the people trying to taxi using foxtrot like i'll give you an example we're still on foxtrot here and there's t3 if you go in the back here you will notice man it's cold on the scooter here the taxiway back here you can't have your plane kind of parked um out back here because then somebody else can't get through and it's the same thing on uh the other side as you can see so you can't Pull your plane of the hangar here and uh, leave it here. So you have to move it or keep it in your hangar. Where my hangar, I can keep it out in front of the hangar and the taxiway is still available for planes to taxi on. T6, again, a pretty big airport here. There's T8 down there. Keep going around here. Soon they'll have the outhouses right here. When it stops being freezing cold out and of course there's take flight hangar d take flight aviation numerous planes are always busy those guys do a great job there's all their planes and they have the twin so a nice flight school of course and hangar b over there 
Hangar B is another service station. Uh, you have T2 up here. And you got the cow farm right behind T2. So uh, in the summertime, you really can smell <laughs> the cows on this side of the airport for sure. And there's some hangers open. This is the old part. These are one of the original hangers. Uh, brick. Or cinder block, I should say. And there's also hangers back here as well. There's my buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Up on dead What's up, man? Good to meet Chris. Say hi. Come on, brother. You going flying today? No, I'm changing the adrenaline. Awesome. It's my buddy. <laughs> I'm just showing everybody the airport. Oh, okay. With my, my new scooter. Oh, Alright, I'll see you if I leave. Okay. Hey, bud. Very cool guy, very knowledgeable. But back here is the ho uh, the cows back here. And if I go up on the the hill, you might be able to see them, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> Matter of fact, you can smell the cows right now, and it's 40 degrees outside. Go figure, right? So here's the dumpsters. I don't need to know. You don't need to know where the dumpsters are, but we're going this way anyway. But there is runway. That's runway back if you can't really see but you have two two and you have zero four on the other side for a five thousand just over a five thousand foot runway and you have more this is t2 still we're cruising along yeah we're going like 10 miles an hour how are you what's going on so again big airport this is just this is just the east side basically of the airport i'm sorry the uh, west side of the airport so you have again b you have c down here you have more flight school uh, airplanes down here you have the diamonds and hopefully the wind is not bothering the microphone here but you have more hangers here there's t8 Again, hangar Charlie over here. There's a twin Cessna in there and a couple other planes in there. And T6. We'll get over there. Hey, so far the scooter's pretty cool, I gotta say. Nice scooter. I'm gonna fold it up and put it in the airplane too, take it to like Fisher's Island and stuff like that. So I want to check it out today. Um and here's more hangers. Hangers everywhere here at Orange County Airport. T5. Again, you notice how you can't really park your plane out on the taxiway because you'd be blocking everybody else. And we're on Echo, and here's Charlie, taxiway. And you have more hangers, T5, facing south, which is nice. My hangar faces north, so in the winter, it kind of stinks. And there's more on that side, T7. It kind of stinks because the uh, when it when the snow melts off the roof, it tends to freeze right in front. Where when you're facing south, the sun hits that first most of the day, and it's not as bad. But you got T1, one of the other original hangars, right down here, T1. We'll check out the tie down. There's tie downs over here. I'm going nine miles an hour. Like the throttle's like a quarter of the way down. We have a bunch of airplanes tied down here. Some of the flight school planes as well here. And this twin has been here since I've been here 12, 13 years ago, just rotting away. Birds are all over it. It's it's done. It's toast. It's garbage, unfortunately. So take a look at this thing. This thing is gone garbage, unfortunately. And apparently the guy still pays his monthly tie-down fee. So, but it is, belongs in a junkyard, unfortunately. I tell you what, one thing I hate seeing is planes rotting away for years. I don't know why it just bothers me. It's like, why not try to sell the plane while it's still in flying condition and just make 
your money and call it even. Why have a plane sit at the airport to tie down for 12, 15 years riding where it's worth nothing? That's that plane. Another, get another twin. This twin they actually fly once in a while. And some more tie downs. So let's go over there to the other tie down. Let's cruise on over there. So far the scooter is awesome. Hopefully the wind noise is not messing with my microphone here, but uh, so far so good. Orange County is a very big airport. Um, it's, it's a large, pretty large non-towered airport. Um, so you got hangar A, another maintenance hangar. This is in transit parking all here. And of course over here you have the fuel farm. And the Orange County Airport Terminal is over here where the old restaurant used to be. This is where I'm hoping we're going to have the fly-in. We're going to be able to use all this property over here. And if we can't, we'll just have to uh, use the hangar again we did last year. But so far, it looks like it's going to be okay. And there's the, the fuel farm over here. Here's the guys. If you want to get your plane fueled up, fueled up, they handle all that. Awesome, awesome guys here at Orange County Airport. The staff here is amazing. The Orange County um staff so this is the other tie down a lot of planes tied down here we'll whip through here so you guys can check them out and this thing keeps beeping because i keep changing my speeds so here's all the tie downs over here i'm going to show you another plane that's riding away which is sad here's a plane that is rotting away right here. So this thing is, again, probably needs a lot of work. Yeah, birds already all in here. It's been here for years. Um, just, just uh, not good. I hate seeing this. Tires have been flat. You can even, you can even see into the kickstand. Oh, you even have the kickstand. Look at that. But you can even see. Look at this. Birds are already up in here, bringing stuff up there, making nests, and flat tires just the inside is totally torn apart unfortunately um animals lived in this thing for a long time but another thing I, like again i hate seeing this because it just drives me crazy that sell it because all the animals they just they just ruined this beautiful airplane just ruined the top is all messed up too it needs tons and tons of work. It's a beautiful plane. Uh, just needs tons of work to get going again. You see all the mold inside, outside. Terrible. I just hate seeing that. So, kickstand. Another one here. Grumman Yankee AA1A, I believe. My friend's plane. He flies this thing all the time. Oh, you painted the spinner. Cool. Uh, I missed my. I used to have one like that, but it was red. And I had a blue one. The text message. So this plane finally got his tires pumped up. Another one that's been here for years tied down with flat tires. Let's go look at this one. Put the kickstand down. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. But uh, here for years. And the weather just tore it apart. I mean, you can see just it's just needs work um birds are living in here for a long time also through the years been sitting the cowling is like halfway on halfway off as you can see so just a just a damage i'm sure inside that is probably a problem uh you know all the bees in here as you can see uh the dash is all torn up inside the same way again it's a shame to see airplanes sit and just rot like this. I believe this is a Skyhawk. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's take a Skyhawk. Cessna a Skyhawk. I'm not 100% sure. But again, sitting here. I just noticed, I mean, the tires are all dry rotted. This is probably where it sat for so long, you know, with flat tires. 
Um, man, I'm sorry for the uh, sniffles here, guys. It's like I had this allergy just kick my butt last couple days. And no, it's not COVID. I tested negative. Uh, plus, I got my shot, so it's all good. It's been a couple months ago. But, uh, but yeah, another one just sitting. Another one just sitting. The birds just are living all over this thing. So, you can just see how I just, the bird's crap is kind of just eating away at the paint and stuff like that. But again, a beautiful airplane. Skyhawks are amazing planes. They just can hold their nice cross-country airplanes. They really are. They're big inside, roomy compared to a Mooney, which has the speed, but it's it can be cramped at times, you know, but... It, you can't have everything, right? <laughs> but here's another piece of uh, something fell off here. Oh, the antenna. The antenna just must have just broke off the top. Um, so it's again, this plane needs so much work that it's probably not even worth fixing. I'm not sure. Who knows how to get it? You know how much it will cost to get it back to airworthiness? But we'll see what happens. The tires are pumped up. Uh, they've been flat. Actually, you can see where they've been flat for so long. I'm surprised the tube is where it's been flat, laying flat the whole time. You can tell where, where it is. But, uh, I'm surprised the tires are not, like, pumped up. Well, I guess it made the tubes inside are not that damaged. But, yeah, so, again, it's like, I know I've said this before, it's like I feel so bad for these planes because at one point before they parked them and sat them here for years and years they were running you know perfectly running great airplanes um you know if you, you know I, I feel like saying that if you don't want to fly anymore or you don't have the funds or whatever to, whatever your circumstances is at that time just sell it sell the plane you can always get back into it later but you lost a lot of money you know if you're the owner of any of these planes here you lost tons of money having them sit here with the damage that it caused, you know, so it's you just you lost a lot of money instead of just selling it, making the money, and buying something else in the future. So let's keep going around. This is other tie downs. Let's keep going around. So far, the scooter's doing good. So this airport, Orange County Airport, this is one of the jet. This this guy's trying to, uh, I believe, donate this to some kind of uh, um, airport uh, something or rather. I'm not 100 percent sure. But he's trying to donate it. Comanche 250. Awesome airplanes. That's just my buddy's plane. He actually flew to Bahamas in that a couple weeks ago. So these are all the other planes on the other side here. Another Comanche. And Orange County Airport is pretty much booked. It had, we have really no tie downs left. And no hangers left as of right now. And there's a lot of hangars. Now, on the other side of the airport, you'll see on the east side, basically, all the way T10, T9. It's the other side of the airport. We'll get over there eventually. But let's check out the Cirrus. I'm tied down Cirrus. I feel like this thing really should be in a hangar. Um, this is a cool airplane. I got to tell you about this airplane. Put the kickstand down again. I love this scooter. Thank you, Segway. So... Take a look at this airplane. Yes, I understand that it needs paint. Okay, <laughs> someone put, <laughs> wrote in there, Super 150, 100 horsepower. That's pretty cool. But when I was explaining to you guys about planes costs, uh, how much you know, how much it costs to fly, and so on and so forth, this Cessna 150, which I initially learned in. I mean, who has learned in a 150, or 152, or a you know a Cherokee 140, one, you know 180, whatever. But awesome plane because these flaps are so big that you put the flaps down full and it's like you have a big parachute you can land like at 40 miles an hour it's like ridiculous to land the stall speed in this plane so it's a good trainer but if you didn't have the funds to buy a four place or you know a mooney cherokee 140 or whatever the case may be check out the cessnas 150 it's an awesome starter plane you got two seats here's a, here's a manual here 1966 model 150 but look how look look at this plane it's a perfectly 
our making plane. So, and he flies this plane, um, got a good deal for it. I won't get into detail, but it, let me know these flaps are huge and they come way down, you know, and it's an awesome trainer plane. And honestly, it's a good plane overall, even if you don't want to go fast, you don't want to get places quick, you want to chill in the air and take your time. This thing will burn five gallons an hour, five and a half gallons an hour, and it's an awesome airplane. There's nothing wrong with this plane. I loved flying this thing, you know? Um, but you can pick these up somewhat in this condition for 15,000 or a little less, maybe 12 to $15,000, depending on the time of the engine and so on and so forth. Obviously, things that go along with the price of these planes. But this is a good plane you can buy, build your time, save some money for the next level, the next level. And that's what I did. My Grumman Yankee, as the one over there, the yellow one I just showed you earlier, it's the same, basically the same exact engine, except it's low wing. And it's almost like, almost like this plane, but it's a low wing. Obviously, it's a Grumman. I know all that. But that's a fun plane as well. When I first started out, I bought my first plane for $16,500. And that was a cool buy back then. The plane was mint. Um, again, sorry for my nose. Uh, but yeah, you can afford to fly this thing, and then when you fly it, it's like, oh my god, I'm not going to spend a lot of money for fuel. It's like five gallons an hour. It's amazing. I can just get time build up, learn, learn, learn cross countries, learn how to do crosswind landings, learn to go to Block Island and back, learn for all this stuff that you can learn on not killing your wallet. And actually, the Mooney, they're expensive initially to buy, one that's half decent, obviously. And, but they're, they're, and they're, they're also um, efficient. They burn, you know, eight to nine to 10 gallons an hour, depending on how you fly it. But Cesta 150, folks, awesome plane. This one is, is needs a little paint, but you know what? Who cares about that? You know, internals are great. You keep flying it, have a good time. And it's not gonna cost you a fortune to maintain and operate because it's a simple airplane and she is cool. I love the Cessna 150s. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy but I think they're cool airplanes. So I'm gonna check out, let's check out this Comanche. Now the Comanche, they're older planes now. They've, they've, they've they, the uh, arrow basically took over the Comanches. They put that cool kickstand down again. I don't know you guys think I'm crazy. But the Comanche 150s, awesome airplane. I have zero, I have zero complaints about the Comanche 150. I'm sorry, the 180. A 250. Only difference is, is that the one at 50, 180 is 180 horsepower, 250, 250 horsepower, so on and so forth, up to 400. So, uh, but it's like you're flying an airliner inside. Um, a couple years back, two years in a row, my buddy Brian, we took his Comanche 250 to Oshkosh, and I've flown him a bunch of times. You put the autopilot on, you sit your seat where you want it, and the plane is like you're in a little airliner. It's so smooth and turbulent air. Um, and handles turbulent air, I should say, very well. Awesome airplane. But check out this one. This is a Comanche 250. Paint's nice on it. Obviously 250 horsepower. And this one has tip tanks, which is nice. It's nice to have tip tanks. Uh, I, f I forgot what he said on how many gallons that holds. So, but I, I did forget about what that was. But nice flaps on these planes as well. Nice wingspan, so it handles really nice. Uh, like I said, turbulent air lands nice. A lot of guys say they land hard, but again, it all depends what you do as a pilot and how you learn how to fly them. Look at that, it's been Arizona. Must have got it. <laughs> Arizona here. But yeah, he just took this, believe it or not, folks, he took this to the Bahamas. He flew down to Florida, uh, where his family was, and then flew over to the Bahamas. Awesome experience. I want to do that, but I want to get my IFR first, which is, I'm almost there on my IFR. Um, I think I need about 15 more hours with an instructor. We'll bang that out probably next couple weeks. But uh, he took it to the Bahamas. That's awesome. I have uh, all his uh, pictures he's had on, on Facebook. It's cool to be able to do that. And that's how free you can be with aviation. Aviation is awesome because you can go to Bahamas, you can go to Florida, you can go anywhere in the United States, you can go to Canada, so on and so forth. Um, as long as you have the ADS, ADSB now. Um, and you can't, apparently you can't have the, uh, to my understanding, you can't have the uh, 
I forgot what it's called, where it kind of, you can kind of put it right here for your ADSB. Uh, I guess you can't have that at a country. Uh, I forgot what that's called. Um, but anyway, Comanche 150, took the Bahamas, awesome, he had an awesome time, awesome experience as a, as a pilot to fly yourself and your family to the Bahamas. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, it probably costs, you know, a lot in fuel, but you know what? The experience, folks, you can't take your money with you, and if you die, what are you going to do? Your kids going to fight over your money, so you might as well spend it while you're alive and have a good time, especially enjoying the hobbies that you like to do, which for me, it's aviation, and for this guy, it's aviation as well, but that is cool. Comanche 250, and I think that one over there is a Comanche uh 180 not 100% sure okay let's go so i know i'm going to get comments on this jet i was just talking about um but he's trying to donate it to um i forget it hasn't hasn't flown in a long long time it was operating years back uh, but he stopped flying it i don't know the exact what it's exactly called you guys will probably know more than me um who watch the channel here I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, it, this is a type of jet uh, that's very inefficient. It burns a lot of fuel compared to the jets today. So that's one of the issues. It's expensive to maintain and fly. So I believe he is, again, trying to donate it to some sort of... Um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to guess. But... It's a cool plane, for sure. But again, very, very, very expensive to fly this thing and maintain. But that's a cool jet. We have a couple of jets on the field here. They're in the hangars, of course. Um, one day I'll get in one of these hangars. Well, there's the 250 again. We're going to go swing around here. Here's a nice Cessna. Um, not 100% what it's called. I believe it could... <sighs> don't know. I don't know if it's a 210. It might be. It does have um retract so it could be a 210 awesome plane also with cessna uh big wings nice interior we got a little window over here little tinted windows um but uh, again another nice cessna on the field here uh retract as you can see there's a box for the gear fold up go right into that box and of course the nose wheel uh goes up into that and he has the mirrors here to see, make sure the gear is up or down. So that's pretty cool too. Nice Cessna, nice paint. Really nice airplane. So uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a 210 or not. I would, I would imagine it is. Let's keep going. Here's a nice 150 over here. Could be, could be 152. That's nice, nice paint on that one. Okay, that's basically it on this side of the airport all the tie downs like i said are basically taken the cherokee i think it's a cherokee 180 c model whatever that means not not too familiar and uh fuel trucks and i didn't even tell you over the other let's keep going around here on the other side here we got runway 26 over there and 08 down there. Obviously, the reciprocal of 26 is 808. We've got planes in a pattern today, which is nice. Let me get out of the, out of the taxiway. No winds. So, we're going to go on the other side of the airport. I have to go all the way around because I don't have a car. I had the scooter, and it's not heavy enough to, to, to kick that gate open because it's a sensor on the ground. Uh, when you hit it, it opens a gate for you. And a fuel farm again. So let's go, let's kick up a notch. Get to the other side of the airport. Again, that's one of the original hangars also, T1. Look how small they are. One of the originals. Wanna see an original, original hangar real quick? Let's make a detour. Let's go down here. I'll show you one of the original, original hangars. It's probably 80 plus years old, I would imagine by now. Look at this. Look at that hangar. <laughs> that is an old, look at that, another 150 stuck away in here. The good thing about this tie-down is it has electric. 
tied to it, which is nice. Another 150. Look at U-turn. But yes, this hanger here, again, one of the originals. Tin. <laughs> oh, I know why it's beeping, because I had the autopilot on. Well, not the autopilot, I should say. They call it the cruise control. So if you had the cruise control on, it beeps, makes it remind you that, hey, you have no brakes. If you hold the throttle down for five seconds at the same exact point, it will keep it, like right now, my hands off the throttle, and I'm going eight miles an hour. It will keep, it'll beep that the uh, cruise control is on. You take your finger off the trigger. That's what I did. Okay, the, over here, hangar E, there's hangar F. These are big hangers, and T3 is next to F. Uh, there's jets in here. Um, Vachi has his jet in the, in the left hangar. Great, awesome guy there. But E, these are all the jets are in. Very secure. There's no way of getting in those hangers without having the owner here. All the alarms will go off. <laughs> so we'll keep heading down. We're going to cut across here. I'll show you the maintenance area. Let's push, and, let's push this. Let's say, let's push the nose down and go faster. But I'm like, we can't do that. I'll put the throttle down and go faster. And teeth, we're back to 3.3 and T4. But here is Take Flight Aviation, as you can see. It's always busy. Great guys here, great instructors here. They're in Hangar D, Take Flight Aviation. And over here is our maintenance crew. Orange County has an awesome, awesome maintenance crew. They have all the vehicles. This is their garage. Hopefully the wind's not kicking out my audio. Plow trucks, all kinds of stuff here. Lawn mowers, tractors. <clears throat> the maintenance crew here is just amazing. I have nothing bad to say. They, they get the grass done, looks beautiful. They get the plowing done. Any issues you have with your hangar, they are at your hangar. Pretty much the next day taking care of it. If it's an emergency, they'll be right there. Airport manager the same way. Which the airport manager is down here. Um, we're not going to go that way right now. Let's go to the other side of the airport. Let's go to the east side, I guess you would call it. Let's kick it up a notch. So you have this road all the way down. Authorized vehicles only. Hopefully the scooter is authorized. Uh, eh, we'll see. <laughs> no, I'm a tenant here, so anything is pretty much authorized. Let's let it beep again. No, take the we'll take the my thumb off the throttle here. All right, yeah. So there you go. Thumbs off the throttle, and it's here's the throttle. You go down with it, and we're gonna let it just drive by itself. That house, the white house over here, just north of the airport, was for sale, and I was actually thinking about buying it uh, like three years ago, maybe. But decided to buy a house on the other side of the county where there's more property and uh, less traffic. But uh, can you imagine living right there on the airport? I, I would say, hey, can you put a hole in the fence? Can you just park the plane at, at my house? So we're going all the way down the other side, all the way down there. We're, we're, we're just crossing a 2 6 approach here. Orange County Airport has nice runways, nice taxiways, they take care of the landscape. Uh, they take care of the runways, about 5,000 foot and over 3,000 foot runway. Uh, so you have 2608, uh, 224, and another emergency game over here. And so, and you have every taxi light, is, everything is LED, this airport. So at night, you're coming in at night, you know, you push the button at seven times, eight times, whatever it is, I forget. Uh, it's like a Christmas tree. Everything is LED, which is nice. It's a little faster here. Get there a little quicker. As long as I don't fall and crash. <laughs> but I was going to show you this side of the airport. So here's more hangars. You got T10 and you have T9 on the other side here. Let's get around this mud. Um, oh, this thing goes up these bumps like nothing. Jeez. Yeah, it goes over everything, this, this little scooter. That's cool. Okay, so here's somebody here. We'll keep driving by. Don't say nothing. Shh. Hello. Oh, he's out. 
He's out flying, no airplanes. So you come around here, here's a taxiway again, another taxiway in front of us. So you come around here, and there's a taxiway, and of course you're on Bravo, and then you have eight and two six runways. Here it is, more hangars. Here's T9, the other side. We won't, we won't go on the taxiway, I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> and here's the other side of T9, and someone's in there. So pretty nice airport. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So I'm gonna kick it up a notch and get the other side of the airport. And I'll be back with you guys in a few seconds. Stick around. So pretty cool scooter. Thank you, Segway, for the scooter. It's awesome. We're gonna do more videos on it, of course. Uh, it did very around the, around the whole airport. I got up to eight, 19 miles per hour on the back stretch. Very cool. Segway for sure and we'll get in the back of the plane we'll go to Fisher's Island with it we'll go to Block Island with it we'll do all that fun stuff there's a plane taking off right now um, but folks June 12th is the fly-in here at Orange County Airport uh, June 13th is the rain date uh, 11 to 3 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, please RSVP we are getting uh, quite a few emails and also on the Facebook page, you'll notice the event. Uh, a lot of people are, are waiting, obviously, for weather. And also, and also it is three months away. Uh, we have over 100 people already registered and are coming, besides the 28 people or more now from the public that are driving in with their families. It is a free event. There's no charge. We're going to have some vendors here. We're going to have free hamburgers like we did last year and some chips, water, all that fun stuff. Have a live band coming in as well. So definitely check it out. But please RSVP at rsvpflyin at gmail.com with your tail number um, and how many people are coming. And also if you're driving in, please let me know as well. This way I can get everything together and we can focus on how we're gonna park planes, where we're gonna park planes, and how much more parking do we need. So rsvpflyin at gmail.com and for me, you know what that email is, pilotfund101 at gmail.com. You can go on my Facebook page, you'll see the event. You can also go to my website at pilotfund101.com. You can register on the, the uh, website as well. Plus there's merch on there you guys can check out if you would like. Free shipping over $100. And that's basically about it going on today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the airport. Um, it is a very big airport uh, for a non-towered airport and a county airport great place to be at for sure and if you like what i'm doing guys please subscribe to the channel you know i really appreciate that we're almost at 25,000 people follow me on facebook that's really cool facebook is very hard to get any followers on uh, but thank you guys 25,000 and we're reaching almost 4,000 followers uh of subscribers on youtube i know for a fact that you guys are watching because i see my watch minutes and hours or through the roof so thank you guys who are subscribed thank you for watching all my videos and taking your time to go through it and the emails of course i appreciate that and i'm on instagram until next time folks fly safe be safe and be safe even if you're on a scooter because they go 19 miles an hour you don't want to fall fall, uh, fall off going that fast and of course always wear a helmet See you guys later.